Hi guys, my name is Raina. I work for the Western Sullivan Public Library and today I'm going to show you guys how to make air dry clay or it can be called um, a Sculpey clay. So what we're going to be using is we're going to be using baking soda, cornstarch, and some water. You're going to need a measuring cup, a small pot, and some measuring spoons. And if you want, you can use a plastic bag to put your clay away when we're done making it, or you can put it in a bowl and use saran wrap over it. Um, so let's get started. So first let's mix everything into our pot. So I'm gonna, I already got my two cups of water here. So we're gonna do two cups of water. Then we're going to do two cups of baking soda. And then we're going to do two cups of cornstarch. Okay, now we're going to bring it to the stove to cook. You're going to want to put it to a medium to low heat. We're going to stir this. Okay, now we can wait for it to boil. Once it starts boiling, we're going to want to keep stirring it until it gets to a nice thickness. We're going to let it sit for a minute. Alright, so now it's starting to bubble, so we want to start stirring it, and we're going to continue stirring it until it gets thicker. All right, so now we have this thick mashed potato-y um, texture to it. I just want to make sure that I got nothing underneath. Now what we're going to do is we're going to wait for that to cool down a little bit and then we're going to put it, so now what we're going to do is we're going to put it into a bag or into a bowl. I don't think it's going to fit into my bag so I'm going to put it into a bowl um, and put some uh, plastic covering over it. I recommend if you do have a big enough bag to use that. I was told that this can dry really quickly. All right. Now I'll get some plastic wrap to wrap it up. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed some cool things you can do with your air dry clay. Um, I saw someone, they took little star cookie cutters. You can roll out your clay, um, make some cookie, um, cookie cutter stars, and you can make that into garland, which looks really cool. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with mine yet, but I'm excited. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed and stay tuned for next week. I'm going to show you guys how to make a mason jar pin cushion. 
All right. Thanks again. Bye.